Welcome YouTube to another detail here at Cornwall Car Care. My name's Jody, and this is what I love doing. 2008 Porsche Cayman Edition 1. Flat black. Oh. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, there are a couple of things on this one. We have decals that run right the way over, so I've got to be careful of those. Um, and yeah, it's flat black, so I haven't done any testing yet, but I am assuming that it's going to be very, very soft. Um, we have quite a few swirls on this one. <laughs> Let me get the light and I'll bring you in. So this has been outside, uh, the wheels have been off, arches have been fully cleaned, and there was so much tar in the arches. I think I used nearly a litre, maybe more than a litre, of TARDIS, just in the wheel arches, trying to get it all off. Uh, wheels are off over there, they are gonna be, probably going out tomorrow morning, and be fully decontaminated, ready for coatings. Um, yeah, basically this one's in for everything. So, let's get you in and let's have a walk round. <laughs> so I haven't done any paint depth measurements yet. I've still to do that. Some deep ones by that handle. Wow. Well, assuming that there is quite a bit of paint on there, um, this is gonna be one hell of a turnaround. But yeah, literally every inch of it is like this. I would say that the rear bumper has been painted just in 
just on the first impressions, there's the bonnet. Oh, there's a big scratch there. One up there and one down there. Nice deep one just above the petrol cap. So it looks like we've got a few deep ones dotted all over. Oh, this is going to be so good. So long as there is paint. Oh, that's a deep one. Lots of swirlies on the rear lights. But yeah, the rear bumper. I hope that's gonna clean up. Definitely got my work cut out on this one. But flat black, when that is done right, any detailer will tell you, you cannot beat it. So hopefully I'm gonna do this justice. Do my paint depth measurements, it's been clay barred. There was so much contamination on this as well. Uh, pretty much used a whole 200 gram clay bar. Um, It's all good though. It's got to be done before the polishing starts. Paint depth measurements, pan a wipe to get it all clean, and then try and figure out where I'm going to do my test panel. Uh, so we shall catch back. Yeah, once I've sorted my test panel, we'll catch back in a bit. First little update on the Porsche Cayman. It's not perfect. I mean, there's a lot of damage in that paintwork. Right, let me turn the camera around, hold on. So this is obviously before. What a transformation that is. Not 100% perfect. Um, there are quite a few deep ones in there. Um, the paint is not thin, thin, but there's potentially a bit less than I would have liked to have seen. So I can't go all out. I just, I've got to leave enough clear coat on there for future work. So, uh, I'm doing the best that I can whilst leaving more than enough for future work. Um, but if I can get the whole car looking like that, wow, this is gonna be epic. Right, I'm going home. Um, early start tomorrow. So we'll catch back tomorrow morning, which will be Sunday.
Soft, sticky paint. It's not the easiest paint to work on. Unfortunately, the rear bumper as well has been painted. There's some stuff on it that I just cannot save. Um, yeah, annoying me a little bit, but it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. It's some staining which looks like it might even be under the clear coat. Um, there's lots of scratches that are under the clear coat as well. So I, I, it's a million times better, but I can't get it how I want it. Um, but apart from that, soft sticky paint, a nightmare to do, but when it's done properly, there's not a lot that can beat it. So passenger side is fully cut roof is cut back end is cut uh, oh these lights have come up an absolute treat as well they were there was no gloss to them before and i say after they get refined as well they're gonna look rather special so yeah so i've got driver side to finish off and the front end and then that's the cutting completed i want to try I don't think it's going to happen because all the decals on it as well, you have to mask each one to polish in between it and it's just, uh, they're both down both sides and over the top as well. So yeah, I'd like to get it the cutting finished tonight, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, so I'm just going to crack on. Yeah, so we've got Finn out the front, he's ceramic coating the wheels at the moment. Let's just get this cutting stage finished and then, then we'll come back to the camera. So, uh, headphones back on. Come on, let's get it finished. Cutting is finally complete on the Porsche Cayman. 
This has been challenging. It has tested me, this one. Flat black paint, which is renowned for being soft as... So most of the cutting was done with a Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad and a little mixture of polishes, uh, which I've personally found works the best for me for soft sticky paint and it was sticky and obviously the front end is peppered in stone chips so again there's only so far i can i can make that look but again it is so much better and well, already you'd be able to see that that is starting to look rather special so yeah we are now on to the refinement stage I um, think we're going to try Geon Primer on a white pad because um, obviously I don't want to be wiping this with panel wipe and stuff afterwards because of how soft it is. So the benefit of Geon Primer is that I can refine it today, leave it overnight and then come in in the morning and coat straight on the top of it um, without, without doing a panel wipe. Um, a panel wipe is going to be too aggressive for this car. So, yeah, I'm going to give everything a wipe down. Headphones back on. Let's get the refinement stage done. <laughs> Come back in a bit. There's not much filming with the refining stage. I'm just trying to get on with it. And as you probably would have just seen, there's a lot of toothpickery work as well and it takes such a long time to do it all. I'm, I'm not going to film it all. So you would have seen that little bit of the refinement stage. And that's with a, a white pad, Geon primer. Yeah, I wasn't going to polish over the decals. I don't, I hate doing it because they're satin for a reason. And if, when you start polishing them, they go gloss. Unfortunately, where I'd mask them to polish in between them, obviously you've got the Porsche Design Edition 1 cut out of it as well. That kind of looked grey and it's near enough impossible to polish inside all of those letters. So I did a little test spot on the bonnet, on the bumper, where the decals go behind the bumper so you'd never see them. So I tried just refining over the top of it and it's not glossy at all, but yes, it just added a nice little depth to it. Uh, it's still satin, but yeah, it looks so much better and I'm so glad that I tried it because I was going to leave it. So I'm so glad I've tried that on the front bumper. Uh, yeah, that's looking awesome. So what we've got left to do, front end is done. Driver side is done, roof is done, up to the door is done. So I've got rear cords up, which was already quickly refined, but I'm gonna go over that again. The back end, and then that's a refinement stage done. So the plan today is to get it refined. I've got to pop out at four, about four o'clock. Hopefully I'm gonna get another car. Um, and then I'll come back. If the refining's finished, I'm gonna dress all the wheel arch liners calipers. Uh, yesterday Finn, he smashed out all the wheels so they're all now fully ceramic coated, ready to go back on. Um, and yeah, coating day tomorrow basically, so glass, excuse me, trim, uh, paint coating, and just all the little finishy bits. The difference from when this came in I'm probably, what I'm gonna do for few, when I'm working with the camera on, I'm probably gonna turn some of the lights off. I don't wanna reveal the full thing just yet, but for flat black, which is so tricky to get right. We're almost there on this one, on the paintwork, right. Another bee waffling on.
get it refined, go and get a car, come back later on. So this is the last bit of polishing to do and I just want to show you the decals, what they kind of look like before and the reason that I can't leave them like that. So obviously you can see where I've taped either edge and it's just, it looks stained. Oh, look how good this looks. That's not polished yet, that's not refined yet. I've just done round the edges. Um, but yeah, so I will come back in a second and show you what it looks like after. And it's all uniform, so it'll all be one color rather than like that. So I don't know if you can see the roof. I'll just say it's all uniform rather than patchy. So yeah, I just want to get this last bit refined. Oh, then I go and get my car, hopefully, and then come back and do some more. There we go. So much better. So they are still satin, as you can obviously see by the light, but just look so much more uniform. They're not perfect. I mean, these are probably from 2008. Um, so they're not absolutely perfect, but what a difference. So is that the polishing complete? I think it is. This has tested me and kind of pushed me to my limits as well. This was hard to do. This was not an easy vehicle. So we have some dust on the car. Uh, I'm going to leave it as it is for a minute. This is Gion Primer. So this is going to be left overnight, ready for coating tomorrow. Um, as I said, I'm going to go and get a car, hopefully. Come back tonight get all the dust off, clean everything up in here, ready for tomorrow. Whew. What a difference already. <laughs> Catch back tomorrow. Now that I've got the paint exactly where I want it, what a difference that is already. Whew. So this one's gonna have Gion Infinite Base Type 2. So this is going to add a nice darkening effect to the paint. It's just going to really add to the gloss. Jeez. Right, so yeah, I've got everything in my trolley all set up. Let's get the coating on. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get the coating on, we'll probably get the wheels back on, um, and then make a start on the glass, the trim, interior. Whew. Get this one finished. Wow, what a difference. Right, let's get this on.
We're getting there on the Porsche Cayman. So the coating is down, calipers are done, wheel arches are done, they were done yesterday. Just gonna get the wheels back on now, but yeah. Remember what they looked like earlier in the video? Lovely. So they've had two coats of Gion rim for the wheels. Uh, get the wheels back on, we've then got glass to do and trim work and the exhaust and the interior and door shuts so and tires so we're going to get on with that uh, we'll come back when we're going to do the glass and the trim so as you can see we have the wheels back on they've got to be torqued up when they go back on the floor and center caps fitted uh, so we've got trim work next Gion trim and get the other side done. Sorted. Right. Slowly get in there on the Porsche. So, wheels are back on, tyres are dressed. All the trim is done, I didn't film too much of that because it's quite fiddly. Um, so yeah, so all the trim is done, I think. Yeah, all the trim underneath here, that's all been ceramic coated as well with Gion trim. So we are now on to the glass. This one is having Gion view. Get it out of the light. There we go. Um, so a two-part system. We have Geon Cleanse and the Geon View itself. So the cleanse is it cleans the glass, but it also leaves down a base layer for view to bond to. So but I've been round the both front windows all around the edges, make sure they're clean. So I'm gonna go around with Gion Prep in the bottle there. So I'm gonna go around, clean all the glass first, then we will come back with cleanse and I'll try and get a close up of me applying, excuse me, of me applying this one and then we'll get on to view. That one there. Right, let's get the glass cleaned. What I shall do is probably run this bit. Uh, no, I'll just leave it on this and I'll fast forward it. So we'll give it a good shake. We'll apply it to the Gion applicator uh, for this part and work in circular motions. And as I say, this preps the glass. I'll put a generous amount on for the first one. Soak that up pretty quick. Q 
you're gonna do that for the rest of the glass, we'll put it on time lapse. gonna go and get this damp and then start removing it hold on give it a little shake And easy. So this is going to have two coats. Uh, first coat, leave it 15 minutes. Second coat on top, leave it 15 minutes. Remove. Time for the second coat. Right, another 15 minutes and then I'll remove that. So I think this is gonna be the last job tonight. So what have we got left? What's on the board? Torque the wheels when it goes back on the floor, exhaust tips, door shuts, and interior. So that is all gonna be finished off tomorrow. But yeah, I just still, I keep saying it, I cannot get over. Oh, what? Just wait for the afters on this one. It's absolutely incredible, the transformation on this. Yeah, <coughs> excuse me. So, catch back tomorrow. Wednesday today, and we've got to finish the Porsche. So, what have we got left? Torque the wheels when it's back on the floor, exhaust, door shuts, number plate back on, and the interior, which is what we're gonna get onto now. So we'll have a quick look. I've emptied everything out. So we've got a bit of sand in here. Definitely needs a good hoover. Leather needs a good clean. Looking a little bit shiny. Let's have a look around the driver's side. Paintwork is looking stunning. Same with the gear knob as well. If that's gonna focus. No, but yeah, you can see it's all shiny around the top. Uh, and everything's dusty all up here as well. Speaker grill needs a good clean. But yeah, got the mats over there. So let's get this interior knocked out. Finish off the things on the list on the board and get some after photos of this because it looks, oh, just wait for the after, the walk around video. What a transformation. 
Right, interior, headphones on, let's get this knocked out. We'll come back when we're doing something else. I'm not gonna film the interior. Um, but yeah, we'll catch back in a bit. Yeah, so you can see the leather looks so much better. Get down, all the pedals are clean. Door cards are nice and clean. Steering wheel, gear stick, and even that Alcantara come back, especially on, it's not gonna focus. Oh, yes, no. And the white letters inside, but they were black before, so yeah, all nice and clean. But yeah, drinks holders in here, they've all been cleaned. on it well worth it though <laughs> so we're going to talk the wheels up next uh what we've got 130 newton meters for these ones uh final wipe down interior is finished uh, so let's get on and tighten the wheels Final wipe down and we're done. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Porsche Cayman completed. <laughs> this has definitely been a challenge. Soft sticky paint a lot of swirls and scratches let me see if i can put a picture up here of just what it looked like before to say i'm happy with that is an understatement this just looks ridiculous <laughs> oh wow I've nailed that. I have absolutely smashed it. That's crazy. Wait till you see the walk around video. <laughs> so this one has been geonized. Uh, so for, even for the polishes, it was Geon Compound Plus and Geon Primer. The paintwork was finished off with Infinite Base Type 2. The wheels had two coats of Gion rim. Uh, the trim had Gion trim. Gion view for the glass. Uh, even the interior uh, was cleaned with Gion interior detailer and leather cleaner. So that's all done. Gion tire for the tires, but yeah, full Gion package. Now that is a transformation, a huge transformation. What a difference. That is impressive. I know I'm tooting my own horn a little bit at the moment, 
but to get a flat black, especially Porsche as well, looking like that is something special. It really is. <laughs> oh, so he's going to come and collect this one. He's collecting this one tonight at around half past five. I can't wait to see his reaction on this. He's had it booked in for quite a while. So, uh, yeah, I haven't posted as much on social media. One, because I didn't really want him to see it looking like this. Um, and if I'd have posted yesterday or the day before, it would have spoiled the reveal. So yeah, sorry I've not posted too much on social media on this one, but that would have already been in the past from this video. 2008 Porsche Cayman Edition 1 been geonized. Let's roll some afters. Mm-hmm. 